All right, thanks for watching another video. We are going to Clockwork Comics and Cards. It's on the corner here, we're gonna go check it out. And the parking lot was full, so they're doing good business. But uh, new comic book day is tomorrow, and today is DC. Tuesday is now DC, new comic book day, isn't it, I think? All right, so let's go check out the store. I think it's a small shop, but we'll see if they got anything in there. So come with me, let's go check it out. This is Clockwork Comics and Cards in Union, New Jersey. This is the front of the store here, and they have a bunch of collectibles, sports cards, comic books. So let's go inside and check this place out. Yay! All right, they got all the new books along the wall here. It's a smaller space, a smaller store. Here's their new books here. Oh, and look at this. What is this? Awesome, man. It's like a trade paperback, but it's mini. It's like a... A paperback size like a pulp book and they have a Batman book and a Superman book oh this is awesome man there's like 20 comics in here like a, a paperback and that one had all Catwoman stories in it but it was like paperback size instead of trade size all right here's Batman 89 and we have all the new books Deathstroke human target all right I'm gonna give you the ambiance of the store because they're playing a bunch of classic rock here but I had to turn the sound off because uh, you get a copyright strike but let's get the ambiance of this store because they're playing like 70s rock here. The uh, the radio and stuff. You really got to get, get a feel for the store. Let's put, let's uh, turn the sound off for a minute. The mighties have taken us over the hills and far away at New York's classic rock. Q104.3 on a two for Tuesday. All of my love. They certainly did go over the hills and far away. They kicked off their 10th U.S. tour in Minneapolis on this date in 1975. Think about that. They start just, what, five years earlier. They're the opening act for the Vanilla Fudge at the Fillmore East. And five years later, and, you know, if John Bonzo Bonham hadn't passed away, this act probably would have kept going for a while. But I do understand and respect Robert Plant's choice. Look, that was then. This is now. As much as we want it, you think about it. Who are we to help tell him, no, we demand you have plastic surgery and go back out, do Jason. It's his call. It'd be cool, but he wants to sing, you know, and, and just with Alison Krauss, and I'll go see that too, and that's what he wants. Here at Q104.3, your pick, American Girl for Tom Petty. Every Tuesday, Q104.3 lets you sit in on a weekly music meeting. You pick episodes near you for in the Q104.3 music room. We pick the first, you pick the second. Go to Q1043.com slash music room. Save that in your phone. I just wanted to get the ambiance of the store because it has like such an old school flavor to it. And uh, we have, uh, what was it, a Treasury Edition here, DC Comics, Superman Story. And we got a little uh, Wolverine uh, doll here. And uh, this is their little wall here. They got their uh, key issues hanging on the wall. Looks like there was a Punisher there, right? Was that the Garth Innes Punisher? Is that the uh, Dark Knights? Uh... Oh, look at that uh, variant. It looks cool, right? All right, I came in here for that uh, Chip Sardaski uh, book. Look at this Titans, new Titans book. It's kind of cool, right? <laughs> yeah, what's that Punisher there? Is that the, uh, I think that was Garth Ennis, right? And we have some uh, Daredevil with the Elektra, the Frank Miller run. And the Warlock. Deadpool. Well, here's that Batman with the Abyss on it that came out, what, last month? Dark Knights of Steel. Dark Knights of Steel. All right, we got a little box here of older issues. Maybe go through some Captain Americas. We'll see what they got in here. You guys always say you like to go in the back issues, right? Looks like kind of a... What was that? 15 Center? Captain America and Falcon? These might be, what, 70s? So like uh, some Bronze Age Captain America? All right, they have a bunch of these long boxes here, so you can go through uh, any one like Captain America, and they have uh, they had a Spider Man one, a Daredevil one. Uh, they got these long boxes. I guess you can grab any of these long boxes and go through them. Oh, look at this! They got Chainsaw Man. This sold out, didn't it? They got a bunch of manga here too, and it's all in. Uh, all the books are in bags, but they're not boarded. 
so I don't want to bend the books when I hold them. This is supposed to be good, right? The Ben Riley Spider-Man that they're uh, starting up. This is from that Beyond uh, Corporation, right? From the main run, Amazing Spider-Man. They hired a Spider-Man, and it's the Ben Riley, the clone. But actually, it's getting good reviews. It's supposed to be a good uh, reboot here. Silver Server Rebirth. It's supposed to be a hot comic, right? I think I came out today. This must be maybe the new the new section, the new books here. That was a, a Dr. Afra book, Crimson Rain Star Wars. Superior 4, a lot of people are talking about this, what a creative idea it is. But I don't know if the execution, if it was a great comic or not. King of Spies, man, these covers are terrific, right? This Mark Millar book, these covers are awesome. I don't want to bend these books, you know? They're all bagged, but they don't have boards on them. Like when I grab them, it's hard to not make them flop over. It's hard to make the floppies not flop. All right, so behind me, you know, all the key issues, and in front of me is all the new issues. And then there's the register right in front of us here, right to uh, my left. So um, a smaller store, but it's got like a real community feel to it. It's very crowded. I guess because it's new comic book day, people coming in and out. There was like 20 people in here. And we have, oh, Batman Urban Legends little run here. Maybe we can grab number 11, right? Number 11, a lot of cool stuff happens in that. I don't know if you guys have been reading that, but Hugo Strange gets killed in uh, number 11. I don't know if it's continuity or not, or what. They have some uh, statues here. What you... They have a lot of things here mixed together. I think they do a lot of business on eBay. It looks like they do a lot of shipping here. So uh, maybe check out their eBay store also. They have a lot of collectibles here. Yeah, back to their wall here. They have some uh, Dark Knight Rises. They got some X-Men, Christ on Infinite Earths, the Punisher, New Mutants. They have the Snyder's Detective run up top. And they have the Killing Joke. All right, they got a cool wall here. Some cool stuff. They already had that Son of Kal-El number four on the wall. That's already on the wall already? Wow. Is it number five, the hot issue? They had number four on the wall. Dr. Afra already has a, uh, a, 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 a statue out, really? She that popular? I thought she faded away a little bit. All right, that was a cool shot, man. That's a, a lot of good picks in there. Had a lot of bunch of new books, a lot of cool back issues and statues and stuff and the owner was really cool he said he was talking to me and he does a bunch of business on ebay so he has an ebay store maybe i'll put the link down here to uh he was giving out like a free pen and stuff for his ebay store so uh i think that place is uh does pretty well it sounds like they're really busy and the store was packed uh they were playing a little bit of uh classic rock so i had to turn the sound off because uh you get a copyright strike they were playing like zeppelin and, and stuff and uh more than a feeling was on when I was in there. <laughs> all right, let me uh, show you the books I got. I just grabbed like a couple of books, but stay with me and we'll check out the books, all right? Here's the pen that the owner gave me. Uh, he was talking to me for a while. Uh, seemed like a kind of a cool guy. And it looks like it has a uh, ruler on it, right? I guess you want to... Uh... And then it also has the name Clockwork Comics and Cards, their information on there. And I think you can go to their eBay store. I think they have a big presence on eBay. So it's kind of cool. Let's see the books we got here. I grabbed not many. I only grabbed a couple of them. But uh, I grabbed the uh, World of Krypton. This is uh, Venditti's uh, on the writing duties here, so I think it has some potential. And I grabbed a uh, variant on the left. I haven't seen that one around, so I grabbed it on the left there. And I think this is going to be a cool miniseries, actually. Um... I would assume it's going to be you know, more of Superman's family and backstory and his world. Krypton, obviously, because uh, he, he, I don't think he's going to be doing much. He's probably a baby, right? I came in here for this book on the right, Batman the Night. This is the uh, Chip Sardaski run on Batman. He's doing a uh, Batman Begins story, like when he was training in the early days, how he becomes uh, the detective and how he uh, becomes turns into Batman. So it's been done many times. The Batman Begins story, but it looks like uh, Chip Sodassi is kind of high. I thought I'd grab it. The Nightwing on the left, the Tom Taylor run, I love it. So I, I'm following that uh, st story along, that title. I've been getting every issue since it got on it, and I think it's pretty great. The covers are cool too, right? They're really creative. Look at this one, showing how we uh, moving through the city on the uh, fire escapes. All right, and this is... The Batman The Adventure Continues, I just love this. This is from the, uh, you know, off the animated series. And it's really fast-paced, very uh, cartoony, and very, uh, I like the animation style in it. 
I've been following this whole run. And on the left, the Moon Knight's pretty good, man. I don't know if you guys have been following it. I don't know how that TV show is, but uh, this uh, title has been great. The Moon Knight? Was this uh, Jeb McKay? He's doing a good job. I don't know why I got this book. What is this? I guess I put my books on the counter, and this book was on the counter. So when, the, uh, when they rang out my order, they picked up the bottom book here, and they rang us up. I wasn't paying attention. So I guess I bought this thing. I wasn't following this run, The Joker. I think I got, like, issue one and two, and then I dropped off. But maybe I bought a good issue uh, by mistake, because that looks like a great punchline uh, cover there. But I didn't mean to buy this. It was just running my bag. But uh, I guess I did buy it. But maybe I bought a key, right, by mistake. All right, these are all my books. And uh, thanks again so much for watching again. And go to my channel, check out my other videos. And let me know if that's your local L LCS, if I missed anything in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.